It is the riot. Hi. Wednesday. We're only at Wednesday. We talk about food a lot. Do we? Have you noticed? No, not the show. T- today in the show, we talk about a crock pot, a pizza machine. That's not food. Okay. That's not food either. That doesn't count. Those are food prep items? This is, yes, it's that's uh, robotics. Okay. Krispy Kreme mini donuts. Well, that's food. Uh, Girl Scout cookies. That's, um... And McNugget sauce. Well, that's sauce, and that's different. Like, I don't like what you're saying. What? So what you're saying is that food is a tertiary concern yes. in many of our breaks. However, it is not always the main topic. Correct. And it's not like what you're implying. That where all it's we like, do is talk about all food. All we talk about is food, and all we like is food, when that's not all what that's about. That's not what it is. <laughs> You'll get something, though. <laughs> so there's all that stuff. We also talk about my Amazon Fire Cube. Still not sure if it's staying or going. I, I feel like with how you were presenting it, that yeah. it's not going to. You don't think it'll stay? I don't think it will. I just I, want to fix my freaking Apple TV and forget about I it. Know, That's what I actually but want. This I don't think is the fix you want. Dang it. All right. So there's that. We talk probably the most important thing you're hearing in the podcast is what comes right after this intro. And that is some advice that I learned. I, I gave myself <laughs> advice this morning and I'm passing it on to you. Uh, let's see. Oh, no. Never mind. That's not the most important thing oh, in the podcast. No, there's something else. <laughs> it is bad, guys. It is bad. Nikki is a new love in her life. <laughs> I don't. If I gave you, I'm just you, watching it. If I gave you a whole year, yeah, and I was just like, I want you to do a deep character study on Nikki, and I want you to I'm figure more complex out than people realize what is her next thing she's going to get into. <laughs> you would not be able to guess it. Nope. Well, you'll find out in the Couldn't podcast. It. <laughs> but it's in the podcast. Aren't you like you like to watch things from Canada? Well, like, you know, okay. it's filmed in Do Canada. You know, you know what I thought about? I thought about when we were. This is after when I was getting the show together mm-hmm. yesterday. In my what's it like your Facebook memories or history or whatever. I wrote something about the fact that I was watching Star Trek fan films on YouTube. I don't feel like. I don't think I've gone as far as you have with what you're doing, (laughs) but I'm close. You're close to it. Yeah. And I just, you know, those Star Trek fan films, I only made it through two of them. You definitely got to a point where you're like, you know, I think we're done here. Well, I'm at uh, 43 out of 50, so. (laughs) You are not. I am. How long have you been watching? I don't know. A week? I don't know. It's Booz Holly. Let him find out. Let him find out. It's in there. It's in there. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Good for you. You know what? It ends at 50. I'm almost done. Good for you, Nikki. Thank you. I don't want to hear anybody say Nikki's not doing something. And I don't need to sleep, so it's fine. <laughs> no big deal. Enjoy the podcast. And remember, you can always interact with us. Mm-hmm. Uh, text us at 877-2-RADIO-U or find us on Facebook. Hit us up on Twitter. All that stuff. The only other thing I wanted to oh. promote was in here. Did you put the uh, the uh, the Santa person? Oh, yeah. Did you oh, put it gosh, in there? We have a lot of good stuff today. I wasn't today. sure. It's terrible. So I want to make sure you guys know when it's happening. Oh, the other thing we should tell you is that tomorrow we're going to do an after show. We are. So uh, if you have not yet found us on Facebook, you should. Facebook.com slash Radio You Riot. Uh, and we will be live tomorrow uh, after the show around 9 Eastern eating food from where? Italy. Okay. So, so we'll do a little after show that you guys can hang out with us. But it's not Italy like you'll think Italy. <laughs> it's Kit Kats. It's, it's not still, pizzas. It's just Kit Kats. <laughs> it's not like a hand-rolled tortellini. You'll see what we get. We'll open up the box and we'll do that tomorrow. All right. So you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. They even make morning people want to reach for the snooze button. It's the worst of the riot on Radio ah. U. So it's a new year, and I just want to keep starting your day every day with uh, just some wisdom. Ooh, words of wisdom? Yeah, just something you can apply. Yeah, Uh, what do we get today? uh, Today is this. Uh, Go ahead and do it again. (laughs) You mean just do what you did yesterday? Well, that works too. But what I was thinking this morning is that I was standing there in the gym. I'd come out of the shower, and I was like, you know what? I already put deodorant on. And then there was that voice that was like, have you? Like, did you put it on? And I was like, I'll just run my hand under my arm and check it. And then I was like, then your hand will be covered in deodorant. If you put it on. And then that's when the wisdom came. That was when the moment, that was that teachable moment where I was teaching myself right there in the in the locker room where I was just like, you know what? Just go ahead and put it on again. The worst thing that happens 
is you got a little extra deodorant. That's, that's not a problem. That's no big deal. For it's better to have too much deodorant than not enough wow, deodorant. That, that really is actually some <sighs> wisdom. It is something. Right? Yes. Right? When in doubt, just, you know. Just go little, ahead. A little extra. Just do it again. Like, man, did I did I put it on? Put it on again. So what if it's twice? <laughs> so what? Like, no big deal. You, well, you can do that. Another life-changing message that Ch- you get from this show. Tell you what, I... I just stood there thinking, like, this is good, and I and <laughs> I should share it with others. That needs to be on the wall, like in gyms, in the locker room, and it's it's like those motivational posters with, like, an eagle holding a deodorant thing just in yeah. its claws. <laughs> it's like, here, just do it again. <laughs> Stacy just texted and says, inspirational quote of the decade. Yes, yeah. that's it. Yeah, that's right. So far, for sure. I mean, there may and be... And we're a- just in the year, and I know, so we don't have many to go from, but... I, it's a good one. So you guys go ahead. Did you put on deodorant? Put it on again. <laughs> the worst thing that happens is you smell too good. <laughs> You'd be like, wow, I'm really covered. <laughs> yeah. That's what Nikki and I are here for, to hold up a light. Wow. Thank you, Thrice. They know what we're talking about. Sometimes it's not, not something so good, but hey, in this case it is. You know what? We're all better. Go ahead. Did you put your deodorant on? You're not sure? Put it on again. The riot is to your ears what all those energy drinks are to your liver. For the love of God, please stop. I can only process so much. The Riot Radio U. Nikki, there's a challenge we all face. Yeah. As people. Uh, You know, back in the day, there were just some broadcasters, but now everybody's broadcasting. Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, you know, Twitch, however it is, you've all, everybody's got an audience. There's a, there's so many platforms that there's so many stars for each platform, and yeah. everyone thinks they they've made it. And one of the hard things that we deal with is our ability to um, understand and anticipate how what we say is going to be received <laughs> by our potential audience. Right now, nobody's going to get this right 100 percent of the time. Because context is important. Tone. You know, sometimes I'll say things in this room that between Nikki and I are really funny. And then when I go out and see people, they're like, that's not funny. And you're like, oh, but it I gets, thought it was. It gets lost. Certain it things does. work in certain areas. And I can't help but feel that that's what's going on with Joaquin Phoenix right now. Maybe this comment would actually be better left in a, a certain uh, group of people, but right. then when you open up the doors to everybody, it is a hard one to hear. Oh, uh, Joaquin Especially from him. Joaquin Phoenix has announced that this year and all those award shows he's going to, he's wearing the same tux every time <laughs> to reduce waste. When we were like, wait, most people don't even have their own tux. Like, yeah, bro, you know, I always wear the same tux to all the <laughs> award shows I go to. But I always do. I think in his circle, that might seem like doing something. I don't know how, but it might seem like it. Oh, Because we're coming gosh. off the award show on Sunday where he was the one I know. encouraging to not take, like, the private like, jet hey, from Palm Springs to the show. Let's not take the, the private jet to Palm Springs and back. Yeah, exactly. Just, and now you need to have to wear the same tux the entire award show season. He sounds poor. <laughs> the same tuxedo? Wow. That That's is crazy. I'll but, tell you what, Joaquin, I'm going to drive the same car, <laughs> God willing, all year. You know, the creek don't rise. Hey, it's a different world, all right? They live in a different world. I would like to bring Joaquin over and be like, hey, Joaquin, do you see these Puma shoes? I've been wearing them for two and a half Half years. years. (laughs) What do you think about that? How's that for reducing You should tell him to be like, what is even a tux? (laughs) You mean the suit? The suit? Or is that what you're saying? (laughs) No, don't even, don't keep thinking about it. It just gets bad. I can't even. I can't. Like, yeah, I just reduce waste. So I'll be taking a, you know what? We're doing a charter jet. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, but we're all going to wear the same tuxedo. That'll fix it. Where we go and get celebrated and our accolades. Like, you know what? Let's celebrate his tuxedo now. All right. So now to the, to the real world, that's a ridiculous comment. <laughs> But again, maybe it's the in last his... time you got an award for your work. Who's even going to award shows? Who got an award? I, I didn't get an award last year for going to work. Nobody now, was like, now I've I got a lot of awards to get, so I had to wear this. Sa- I'm wearing the same clothes to all the award shows. Listen, 
it, it's going to bother you if you keep thinking about it. He was just meeting oh. in his circle of celebrities who you know probably, what, Nikki, you know, go for outfit for outfit and uh, care more about that. Nikki, we need to do the best we can with where we are. Yeah. And you know what? I think we should all celebrate. That he's doing the best he can. That's something in is. his area. In his world, yeah. that's a big deal. That so. is not, I just, you know, you just want him to just say, wait, wait, what are you saying? And who are you saying this to? Hey, uh, yeah, <laughs> there are going to be people that read this that uh, they have like a pair of shoes. No, but there's also on the other side, like... <laughs> That'll be inspirational to oh, them yeah. to like make a change. Gwyneth Paltrow is just blown away right now. <laughs> like one outfit. <laughs> one day, a heroic time traveler will go back in time to make sure none of this ever happens. Until then, it's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Boy, this is helpful. You know, that Krispy Kreme is out there trying to help you with your New Year's resolution. Does feel like someone in a board meeting was like, what can we do for January? Because that's probably the downtime. Yeah. So they have, and see if you've heard this before. This is a shocking new thing. A mini donut. Well, you can't have a whole one now. This is the time you're trying to cut back. It's a mini donut, Nikki. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just have it. uh, They've got glazed chocolate ice glaze, chocolate ice with sprinkles, and strawberry ice with sprinkled mini donuts. (laughs) They look good, but really it's it's just smaller. That's all it is. All you're going to do is just... Have more of them? Have more. Uh, Yeah, I know. That's what I do. They're just like, "Eh, it's a little cookie. In fact, (laughs) I think I am more likely... To indulge and eat too many mm. if they're little like that. Oh, then compared to if you just had oh, the yeah. normal size? Yeah, like I feel like I am better off just like, look, I'm eating a donut. I'm, let's just call it what it is. I'm committed to the call donut it a eating. And and, have yeah, it. come on. <laughs> like be real about it instead of like, you know what? It's only a half a donut. So, blah. Well, they're packaging ah. it like a mini indulgence. And that way, if you're on a diet for New Year's for your resolutions, you could still indulge. Yeah, these look good. I'll they look one. good because to us, I don't have the same perspective of it being like truly <laughs> they, mini. It just looks like a box of donuts. It does. It looks like a box of donuts that just brought the camera back. Yeah, like it's just cuter. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. That's all it is. I don't really know until I see them in person. Just seems small. So they're hosting mini Mondays for Krispy Kreme, which is a happy hour from 4 to 7 through the month of January. So you can get a free mini donut of your choice during that time. Oh, Oh, hold me back. <laughs> this is too generous. Guys, you know, drive all the way over there for it's a half a donut. Road. For half a donut for free. Right. Well, then it's near the Sonic. You could go there and then go to Sonic for happy hour. Now, that's not bad. So Sonic, you have well, to make well, your no, no, trip no. worth it. Sonic's happy hour is 2 to 4. So from like 3.30 to 4, you Sonic it up. <laughs> and then from 4 to 7, you're a Krispy Kreme with your free half donut. And you couldn't eat any more after that. Like, I that's couldn't too much. Possibly. I just couldn't. <laughs> you know, we're just trying to make it work, all right? We're just trying to mini indulge. Okay. That's all fine. we're trying to do. I th- again, I think you're better off just whole hogging. Just be like, you know what? I'm all in. Because then when you're done with it, you'll be like, you know what? I made a huge mistake. I'm not going to do that again. These mini donuts, they're just adding just enough calories to completely (laughs) sabotage whatever you're trying to do. It's a trap. It is a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. (laughs) Yeah. So stay. But then again, I'm not comfortable with this show sending out a stay away from the donuts message. Because that's not on brand. I think it depends on people's resolutions. So we want to support if you're saying no. And if your resolutions have nothing to do with that, then you can have whatever. Man, I'm struggling. My resolution is just to get out of bed and get in here. If I'm in here. That's supposed to be an everyday normal thing. That's not the resolution. Not this time of year. (laughs) This time of year, getting in here is a huge victory. (laughs) And you have made another day of that. Thank you for doing that. Three days in a row. (laughs) Things are never as bad as they seem, except when it comes to the riot. riot. Then... They're worse. They're always worse. It's The Riot on Radio U. I gotta ask a question, and you guys feel free to answer 877-2-RADIO-U. You can text, or, but Nikki, I'm asking you, but I anybody that gets in, I, I'd love to hear people's answers. But have you ever done that thing where you see somebody and you're talking to them, and then the, you start talking about somebody else, and you say, like, oh, tell them I said hi. 
What do you mean? Like you think you know them or? No, no, no. Like, uh, okay, you're standing there and it's like, let's say you run into somebody that you graduated with Mm -hmm. and it's only been a year and you're like, so have you been talking to anybody from school? And you're like, yeah, I have a class with so-and-so. Remember them? Like we have general chemistry together. And you'd say like, oh, tell him I said hi. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, have you done that? It's probably been a little bit. But we see. try not to have like phys- like you oh. know, contact like online. Have we done that? Give them a hug for me. <laughs> yeah, something. Do yeah, that. Okay. You pass the message through them. Right. When somebody says that to you, do you ever actually pass the message on? Oh goodness, no. Never. No, why? It's just something you say. Give them a hug for me. Like yeah, okay. <laughs> I've already forgotten. <laughs> Okay, it's I a will. guarantee that I've now forgotten everything. Okay, I will. No, I won't. It's never happening. Like it all I have done is I've just given you my pre-programmed response to that stimulus, but I am done. I will not be passing on the message. I am not going to go like okay, let's say that uh let's Rusty Ship who we've interviewed. Let's say he talks to me on the phone and he's like, "Hey, you know what? I just appreciate everything you guys have done. Give Nikki a hug for me." I'm not, not gonna, going to do like, that. I'm not going into Nikki's office like Nikki. Hold still. <laughs> I have to give you a hug now. Pretend I'm John Van Dusen, <laughs> or pretend I'm Rusty, or like whatever. I think, I think though that is just um, polite talk. That even the person telling you to do that is probably not expecting you to actually do that. It's I just something know. you say. Are there? I wonder. Are there people out there that they're like, no, 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 no. hang on. Uh, let me add them to the list. Well, I've seen Nikki. I have Rusty. you ever experienced someone saying, "Hey, here's a hug," or someone told me to tell you hi? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Like I, like I like feel like I many? have. I can't remember one example, but I'm sure it's happened. So I think the chances are low that you know it's actually being done. Okay. Well, did that's... someone do that to you yesterday? No, no, I did it to somebody else. I was oh, like, you did? oh yeah, tell them I said hi. And then it occurred to me. They're not doing it. They're not telling them that. And aren't we all connected all the time? Couldn't I just say hi? Is, it more, you per- say. is it more personal if somebody hands off this message? I, you made a middleman. <laughs> I, I don't know. Just, just wondering. Just, just something to think about. Using advanced technology, we've digitized and transcoded Obadiah and Nikki into a purely digital format. This is the Worst of the Riot podcast. Yesterday, I got an Amazon Fire TV Cube. Fire Cube TV. Cube (laughs) Fire TV. The one thing? Amazon. So is this going to replace your Apple TV? I don't know. You don't like it? No, I do like it. It's cool. You know what's the best part about it is that it's a universal remote that is voice activated. So I can tell it to turn my TV on. I put those new smart lights behind my TV. I can turn those on and off. Uh, And I'll tell you, that sounds dumb. Like, who cares? Just grab the remote. No, it's awesome. When I walked into my room and I was like, Alexa, turn on the TV. And it was like, bing, bing, bing. And everything came on. I was like, you know what? That's the future. That's that's, kinda, that's now. <laughs> that actually is kind of cool. Like, I, I'm the first one to mock that. And yet, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and you can, and again, these are all things you, with your Apple TV, you can do searches and all this stuff. But you have to have the remote. With this Amazon Cube, you should be like, Alexa, search YouTube for Worst of the Riot. Boom does it pulls it up whatever like there's just a lot of stuff like that that i found to be really cool but like, Obi, i really liked it you used to like his apple tv but I he got a it. new tv and the one new tv that he happened to get the one <laughs> doesn't well, play well with the apple tv i have learned that it is a a fairly common problem if you have like a receiver and all these different things which i do and so i did more digging into it last night trying to figure it out and uh, I when I watch TV, I like the voices and the lips moving to come to together. Match, and that seems to be what's the problem. Yeah. Now they say that if you have uh, an iOS 13 iPad or iPhone, there's an app for that that will listen to the TV and blah blah blah, and it will sync it up for you. And that, we'll get a new phone. Yeah, there's just, a fix. There it is. Eleven hundred dollars. I'll get this taken care problem of. Solved. Problem solved. Well, then get a cheaper iPad. Yeah, just no big deal. A couple of hundred dollars will take care of that for you. <laughs> Well, that's a fix. <laughs> well, the thing I don't like about the Fire Cube, and again, this is, I'll wrap on this because I know this is super nerdy, but the picture and especially the audio quality, the audio quality is not as good. When like, you like audio does, quality. It does not offer mm. the same like bit rate 
of audio. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, die, you can't notice. I understand that a lot of people can't. I can. I can. I really can tell. He really likes that side of things. Um, and so it's just one of those things where I'm like, you know, do I, one of two things has to happen. I've either got to go all in and empty my savings account and just throw the, the book phone. at it Get and the fix this problem, or <laughs> I need to shut up, abandon it, and just get over it. Oh, but you really like audio quality, so I don't know. That's a tough one. It has been a tough one. You might have to go back and look at... I need to buy an iPad, No, sync it, and then just return it. No, you need to... <laughs> can you Fair. do that? Well, sure, yeah, I could. If not, I can bring my phone. You can just take my phone over and do it. You don't want me taking your phone. Well, I mean, you'll bring it back. But if not, you know, maybe returning the TV. And is there another TV? I'm not doing that. Okay. So no, the TV right, well, stays. we're whittling away, you know, the nose the TV and, stays. And, and the options we still might have to fix this problem. And, hey, I'll, again, I'll say it. That Alexa, like all that voice activated stuff sounds stupid. I like, I'm just like, who freaking cares? In all the reviews I read about this Amazon Fire Cube, people were like, this voice activation is cool. And I'm like, man, whatever. And as soon as I did it, I was like, it is cool. <laughs> this is neat. Well, Neato, at least like, guys. At least you like that part. Yeah, I don't know. Apollo LTD. It's hard all- to find the perfect thing. There always has to be one what? thing. There's always one thing wrong. It's like everything was right. And I was like, this doesn't sound. So I checked the bit rate and I was like, come on, <laughs> we can do better than this. <laughs> Uncomfortable silences during that morning carpool. Not a problem. These two never shut up. It's the riot, riot on Radio U. Look, whether we like it or not, or we're impressed with it or not, which I'm I said I'm not, but I am. See the problem there? I say I don't like it, but I like it. Uh, Voice-controlled stuff, that's where it's at. Everybody wants the voice control, and uh, I'm sure that your mom is no different. She wants a crock pot that is powered by Alexa. Is there one? There is now. (laughs) They unveiled it yesterday. It's a crock pot that you can just... Talk to it. So, like, I want you to cook for this Aww. long at this temperature then, like, or whatever. What if your grandma just, like, starts talking to the crock pot like it's a friend? Nobody understands me yeah. like you do, crock pot. No one thanks me for the nobody, food I'm making. Nobody listens and nobody talks <laughs> nobody back. Can. No one comes and sees me. Hey, let me tell you what. That's on the way. Yeah. Haven't you already seen? They have those uh, those virtual pets that uh, you can get. So it's like basically all the love of a pet without any of the work. Sure. And I'm not talking about Tamagotchi or whatever. I'm talking about literally a robot cat. Well, pretty soon we're going to have AI assistants that are our friends. Yay. Somebody for us to and talk to. they'll make our food for us too. So I like the Crock-Pot idea. The only <laughs> problem I see with this Crock-Pot is I have to put food in it. <laughs> you still have to do the prep work. Right. But what? that's not supposed to be so bad. I mean, every t- I don't use a crock pot too often because it does seem very much like not our generation thing. Yeah. But when you use it, you're like, this is the best thing ever. The only <laughs> the only thing I think I've ever used a crock pot for is chili, at least for ch- me. The cheese. Oh, your cheese dip. I make the cheese dip in Aww. there. Or I used to. Not anymore. Didn't you used to make a ham thing in there? Oh, that's right. Holy crap. I did forget. Yeah, all right. Two things. Two things in there. In the crock pot. I'll make barbecue ham, which you go buy like the cheapest, crappiest chip chopped ham because it's just full of fat. And then you get a ton of barbecue sauce. You put, put it la- in there. <laughs> you put a layer Say, of ham. Hey, crock pot. Cover it in barbecue. <laughs> put a layer of ham, cover it in barbecue, and you're about to have the best sandwich of your life. Just turn it on oh, and let it sit there. So good. <laughs> so, yeah, like... I'm telling you, it's, I guess I was going to say voice controls the wave of the future, but voice controls the now. It's currently everything that's going to be coming out. Yeah, it totally is. So anything you own, now with voice control, whatever it is. Well, that just increases our chance of accidentally starting it. (laughs) Just not even knowing when you're starting all your items. Totally true. I, I don't know. Again, I thought it sounded dumb. But being able to control my TV with Alexa has blown my mind. Did this come out through uh, CES, the Consumer Electronics Show is going on? So if you like to look up news, like tech news, all the stuff this week's about all the upcoming tech things. I feel like a lot of the tech news has kind of sucked, though. Because, I mean, like, again, hey, it's a crock pot. You can talk to it. Hey, it's a bath mat. It'll weigh you. (laughs) (laughs) We talked about that yesterday. Yay. Yay. All these are the best things ever. It's an 8K TV. 
Man, I'm barely enjoying 4K. You need eight. Well, these are future showing things. Dang it. They did have the uh, the pizza machine. Did you see that trending? Actually, I have that pulled up to talk about. That one actually was interesting from CES. That's <laughs> worth talking about. But, that, but that's not like a consumer thing, though. Like, you're not going to get that in your house. No, but it'd be fun. I could see that would be at, like, Costco or something. Okay. Well, or, like, well, a pizza place. What the heck? We'll just talk next. Like, while we're on crock pots, let's talk about pizza robots, right? Again, you don't think you're going to want a crock pot, but it's actually not bad. Suddenly it sounds okay. <laughs> if you're looking for all the funny moments you missed during the riot, we apologize. You won't find them here. There, there weren't any. This is the worst of the riot podcast. I love pizza. I want it now. You want 300? Sure. In an hour? Okay. All Would right. you like Let's that go. many? Sounds like a challenge, Nikki. That's <laughs> so what I'm saying. We were talking about CES, which is the Consumer Electronics Show. It's not a lot of, like, everyday household items that would be released right away. Pizza should be an everyday food. Well, it, it at least with what they're trying to release with this, it's more about they try to make a, a big splash by making a uh, an item that will be, you know, bigger. Right. <laughs> not one we can use. So, and then it whittles down to what, you know, will actually end up being a product that you can use in your house. A, a Seattle-based company called Picnic showed off its automated pizza making system, which is a a large device that can make 300 pizzas per hour. That's a lot. They and say, it's the whole thing. It's assembling it and I think even baking it at the end. And so they say that the average pizza place makes about 250 pizzas a day. A day? A day. And this will do 300 in an hour? They say if it's at full capacity. Mm. So I guess the idea would be it's probably not designed to run at full capacity the entire time. And it's not, I mean, like for pizza places, you you still have to have the person who wants to buy the pizza before you make it. Yeah. The other side, too, with this is that I, like, I... mm. I do appreciate some consistency with my pizza because there is a local pizza place where I live that I do love their pizza, but it's such a roll of the dice. Maybe I'm going to get the day where the pizza is really good and maybe <laughs> I'm going to get the super mediocre. We barely put any sauce on it and we burned it. Yeah, but for just, this, this would be consistently tasting the same. Oh, dude, a robot is making your pizza. Then again, <sighs> there's a love in it. Is that what you're going to say? Kind of. <laughs> There's no, like, extra cheese, a little extra pepperoni over here. I This does one or two things. It turns national chains into, like, machines, cons- consistent machines, and all of a sudden a Domino's franchise, you hire a couple of drivers, someone that watches the machine, and someone that manages the restaurant, and that's all you do. Now, for this, it's only making pepperoni, so I was curious if this would actually could... Oh, I'm with sure a, they could figure it out. Like, how do you add other toppings and customize a pizza? Or do they do that at a certain point throughout the, the machine's process? I'm sure you could figure it out. But you know what? To me, this just drives me even harder into the arms of mom and pop pizzas all across the area. I don't know. Do you want a roll of the dice or do you want it to taste the same? See, that's the thing, Nikki, is that mom and pop places usually get a pretty consistent pizza. It's Domino's where I go and I'm like, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> now for this, they're saying that in the, the food service industry, there's actually a lot of jobs that no one wants to do. Okay. So they have a shortage. I.e. if you've ever looked at any fast food place, you know how they're still now hiring a lot of people like yeah. they need people. Um, they really do have a shortage in pizza places. No one wants to do that particular job. And this would take care of that. Most of us think that we're above working. Mm-hmm. On some level, we're like, well, I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. And so they are saying, well, fine, the robot will do it. Like, yeah. You know what? At the end of the day, I'm not here to talk about the economic realities of the pizza industry. I'm just here to tell you that I really want a pizza. You're just here to talk about pizza. Get me that pizza, Nikki. <laughs> hey, and you know what? If a robot I can do made that. it. And I can get you 300 of them. In an hour. <laughs> One hour, you could have that many. You wait right here. At $10 a pizza, that's $3,000. We have that space in the corner. Could fit over there. Check, money, order. Or Venmo. I gave during the last fundraiser, and all I got was this crappy morning show. This is The Riot on listener-supported Radio U. Do you like to watch shows on the CW? They just renewed everything. (laughs) I saw that on Twitter this morning. I was like, well, okay. (laughs) You're supposed to get rid of some shows. The Flash, Riverdale, Batwoman, Nancy Drew. I forgot that was a thing. 
They had a Nancy Drew TV show. Uh, All American, Black Lightning, Charmed, Legends of Tomorrow, Dynasty, In the Dark, Legacies, Roswell, New Mexico. Some of those I haven't even heard of. I I haven't. I don't know what Legacies, Roswell, I, Dynasty. Mm. But they were saying, um, I think it's everything. But what was the the one people were sad about? Supernatural, because that's been yeah, on but for they like can't, they didn't like been... cancel it. Supernatural's been on for like twenty years, so it wasn't like they canceled it. They all just agreed that it was time to spend time apart. Well, I mean, that's the trial separation. It's just not renewed. It's not coming back. So they were sad to not see it on the list when there's so many things on the list. Yeah. Um. What about? I don't see Supergirl on this list. Are they still doing that? I don't know. Is that a thing? Maybe I just missed it. Maybe it's gone or maybe I missed it on the list. Um, and then it's not mentioned here, but aren't they doing a Lois and Clark TV show or something where it's going to be a it's like a Superman show? That's something you could kind of get me interested in. But boy, I just can't. I don't know. I feel like I missed the CW train. Like they started building their multiverse like 10 years ago and I wasn't in. And so now it's like I can't get on the train. I I have to watch approximately 100 years of TV shows before I could catch up and be a part of that culture. A lot of times with CW shows, you guys are always because Obi will watch a couple episodes and then he'll stop. And then you guys always say, well, wait, like till like the second or third season. And then it really starts to work. Once you get 60 episodes yeah. in, it really takes like, off. We totally hear from you guys all the time. You say that. And it's like, that's a lot to commit to finally get to a part where you think it's good. That's a lot. I think, isn't that normally what people always tell you with The Flash? Oh, yeah. And I watched the first two seasons of The Flash and I really liked it. I just hit a point where I stopped. I I just lost interest. It was just like, eh. It's it's okay, and I don't hate it. I'm not mad at it, and I'm not mad at you. And it's still there, so yeah. if you like it, it's it's been renewed. Here's what I need to find out. I need to find out what that CW show is that's on in the gym every morning at 4.30 that always features those women. They're always, like, really dressed up, and they're drinking wine <laughs> and having this really spirited conversation, and it's a drama, and then some some man comes in that they fawn over. It's like the UPS delivery guy or somebody's boyfriend or whatever. Now, you're getting you all that. you know what I'm talking about? I do, about? but you're getting all that, and you're not, like, actually hearing it, are you? You're I have just, no idea what they're saying. You're just watching it from a distance. Because sometimes I get on the elliptical, and there are it's 10 right TVs front. that I have to stare at. It's three <laughs> news channels, that same show that looks the same every day on the CW. And then a bunch of infomercials. And a bunch of things that are like telling me that I'm too fat, my arms are flabby, I'm losing my hair. And if you just only tried airbrushing makeup, I think you'd really like that. (laughs) They always show that. The airbrush for makeup. I'm thinking about it. It's, it looks convincing. And I'm thinking about, uh, it's not, Nikki, I could fix my flabby arms, but it's not surgical. Is it with like a lotion or something or I'm what? Sh- I'm not sure. I need to turn the sound on <laughs> to figure out what's actually <laughs> happening. Glasslands, Mr. Creeps. Yes, Nikki and I watch TV at weird times of the day. Well, you're just at the gym. You're working out. It's but right there. That's the life we live, okay? Nikki and I have to live a weird life to come in here and do this. It doesn't just happen. And it means we don't get to watch any CW shows. <laughs> this is the worst of the riot on Radio U. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you two options, Nikki. Please choose one. Uh huh. Someone's breaking into your house. Can't fix that. Okay. That's happened. But they come in and they have a gun and they just point a gun and they're like, I don't want to hurt you. I'm just here for the whatever. They steal your stuff and leave. The crock pot. I'm here for your voice activated <laughs> crock pot. pot. See earlier in the show. Like, I don't actually no. have it. We were just talking about it on the show. No, you're like, no, not the crock pot. Take anything else. <laughs> There's that option. Mm-hmm. Or you wake up at night and you think that one of your animals is licking your feet. And then you find out that it's the person that broke in is sucking on your toes. Oh! Do you want the gun or the toe sucking? Uh, well, I don't know. Both will really traumatize you. Yeah, I mean, the gun is bad because the gun, like... That'll scare you. And that then you're always, you. You're always going to be sta- scared in your house, but yeah. I don't want someone doing but, that. Mean, now you're wearing, like, three pairs of socks to bed. Well, no, <laughs> tuck, no. Now, see, that's not... I, I don't like my feet out, you know, all the time anyways at night because you feel like someone's going to grab you from the under the bed anyways. You do? So you, you've got to tuck your feet in. The person will never find my feet. you got to get to work on that. <laughs> Somebody's going to grab your feet in the don't night. Don't you ever think that with your bed? Oh, yeah. So you just keep your feet in. No. 
That's not the kind of stuff I think. Well, obviously, it could I happen. I should be. I should be concerned. Nikki, all I've done is reinforced your fear. Yeah. Because here we have... This is, this is Someone so, actually did that? No, it gets... I feel like it gets even better because you know what, Nikki? It's, it's Christmas Eve. Oh, worse. That's your safe time. It's supposed to be the most magical night of the whole year. It is. I'm not going through another Christmas Eve without a toe in my mouth, okay? I've had it. If I have to break into my neighbor's house to suck his toes, then fine. Stop. Stop. Just stop. Well, I am not facing Just another stop. toeless Christmas. <laughs> I won't. I can't. I can't. Oh, so <laughs> I don't know if I can even hear the details. Okay, so this guy wakes up. Yeah. And there's some dude sucking his toes, and he tells him, Look, I'm not here to steal anything. I don't want to hurt you. I just want that's to suck worse. your toes. You like, understand? That's way worse. Yeah. Uh, here's, here's what's great. They haven't found the guy. They don't know? No. He calls the police. The guy just runs out of the house. Out there somewhere. Is that? How about that? You have to leave your house every morning and you're just like somewhere out here in the world is someone that has sucked my toes. They broke Stop into my house and sucked it. on my toes. Stop saying it. What? Stop. I don't want to even think about it. Dude, this reminds me of a friend of mine. I'm not going to say her name. but She said she was at like, a, it wasn't like after prom, but it was like an all nighter thing, like mm-hmm. uh, whatever. And there was a sleeping room and you could just go in there and sleep. And uh, it was like monitored. It wasn't like just a free for all, but she woke up to some guy licking her feet. What <laughs> is it? <laughs> what is that? I, 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 no, no, no. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> just, just no. I think I'm go- like, I don't want anybody to point a gun at me, but I think I'm going with that. Well, there's such faster. A, there's such I, I just want it to be over with. Because, like, if somebody just wants to steal my stuff, it's like, I understand your motivation. I don't support it, but I understand. Now, please don't point a gun at me. Just get your stuff and go. Okay. The guy's sucking your toes, and you're just like, you have, this is bad. <laughs> this is very bad. Everything about this is bad. It's very wrong. Don't we didn't need to share this story. Now I have to think about this. Nikki, I thought you liked Christmas stories. I don't like Christmas stories. It's a Christmas story. Santa. It's Santa. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't found him. It was Christmas Eve. This guy's never getting a present again. I mean, I don't want to know. He kicked Santa in the face, called the police. I, I don't want to know any more about it. It's like, you know, I don't, I don't want the cookies this year. Stop it. It's not what I'm here for, okay? <laughs> I think we ruined everybody's morning. What? <laughs> it's so weird. Yes, it is. It's so disturbing. Yes, it you know, is. But the good news is, whatever you're facing today, it's not this. That's good. Hey, so what do you think of Obadiah? Well, the truth is, he's not a very nice person. Okay, well, what about Nikki? The very best day is. You're listening to The Riot on Radio U. I know that many of you are in the middle of your New Year's resolutions, but you know, the Girl Scouts are here to make sure that you don't meet your goals. Well, I just, I'm glad I know now, so I remember later this week. I think they start selling, is it today or tomorrow or uh, soon? I, I don't need to go to any stores then where they might be outside. I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> Is that like? Do they start selling this week? Um, let's see. I think it said. I will look I mean, it up I know for it's you soon. It's always you know like early in the year, but I think it was yesterday. Oh, that started okay. Tuesday, so yesterday. So they have a new cookie this year called the Lemon Up, but it's not really a cookie. They're calling it a Lemon Up wafer. Mm-hmm. Look, I don't want a wafer. And you, did you see what it has? What sustainable palm oil? No, it's got like motivational statements on it. Yeah, I don't need that either. I don't. <laughs> They say they're designed says, to inspire the leader. inner Girl Scout. Yes, it says, I am a leader, and it has inspirational messages on them. Yeah, that's good. You know what? Uh, no, I'm not going to get into that. So they say, <laughs> but it, they do say they're using clean palm oil, which is sustainable so that it does not disrupt the habitat of animals and people who live among oil palms. Yeah, and, but it's still going to hurt you up. 
it's still going to wreck you. Yeah, just to be clear, just because it's sustainable, uh, it's not sustainable for you to keep eating them because eventually you're going to become so overwhelmed with palm oil that you're going to die. <laughs> it's not going to be good. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> but, I mean, you were going to die anyway. Might as well die buried in uh, lemon palms. No, no, no. Lemon. Lemon ups. Lemon ups. Mm-hmm. So Girl Scout cookies, uh, it's about six to eight weeks that they sell them during that time. Yeah. You know what? I'm So good. don't open the door and no. don't go to any stores where they're outside. Yeah. You got to watch it all. They will get you. I, I just tell them. I, I always, well, I just lie. You just say someone else already came through, even though you didn't order any. You lie to them? Well, I don't want to buy any you know- of them. I don't carry cash. I don't want him. Do you know who I you are? I don't want them. I'm everybody you know else. We're are? all lying. Do you know who you are? What? <laughs> You are. Do you know those people that we see when we ring bells for the Salvation Army and they put all oh, their money in the by? lottery machine and then they just walk by and they're like, <laughs> no I don't have way. any cash. That's different. That, no, I'm not like that. Yep, that's who you this are. This is boxes of cookies. I don't need to be buying boxes of cookies. You know what, Nikki? Let's go get some scratchers and screw the Girl Scouts. Just forget about them. Just forget it. I need to raise money for them by buying cookies? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no, you I do. don't. And you then do. they come to the house, and there's always like so many of them because they try to gang up on you, and they do. And you can't say no to them in person. So don't you just, have that ring doorbell? So I'm you not don't even have to go. It. I'm not even going. They ring the bell, and they're like, ding, ding. You're like, hello. It's like, sorry, guys. Would you like to support the Girl Scouts? I don't believe in the Girl Scouts. Get out. I'm sure. I was never a Girl Scout, but I'm sure it's nice. I'm um, sure. We think. We don't know. You, you weren't a Girl Scout. We don't know. I was not, but I, I don't need the cookies. So. I went to Cub Scouts one time. Oh, that did was you? Oh, it didn't work out, though. Uh, I think my mom just stopped taking me. <laughs> like, one time was enough. I don't remember what happened. I just remember going. <laughs> and then, like, my church had, like, a knockoff Cub Scouts thing, and I did that, I think, like, twice. <laughs> so. Well, you have three three in. It's going, better great. Than all it's of going us. great, though. Mm-hmm. Like, as you can see, I've really done something with well, my life. Well, maybe we should have. We could have learned all these life lessons. You and I would be leading Fortune 500 companies right now. If only we would have. Cause, if only. Because remember, you're a leader, or so the new lemon cookie will tell you. You know, that's what's going to change everything. Mm-hmm. We're going to get those lemon cookies. We're going to get those positive messages. And all of a sudden, Nikki and I are going to be on the cover of Forbes. Fantastic. I'm still going to say no. <laughs> To the cookies? <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, all right. You know why? Because you don't like to be pushed around, which shows me that you're a leader, Nikki. <laughs> but how are you going to be that leader if I don't without have those cookie. messages? <laughs> this is the Worst of the Riot podcast. Man, I got to tell you, wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't ready, Nikki. I wasn't ready for you to move Further up and further in For to the Asian landmass. For what? Well, oh, been no, to... did he tell you? Oh, come on. I wasn't ready for this, okay? If Eric had told me, hey, Nikki's into a new Korean drama, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. Or maybe if he had said, like, she's moved into Chinese TV. Okay. No, I mean, we've I... done we've done Japan. We've done Korea. Sure. Like, Nikki's ch- on China. She's not pretty I soon. I do have stuff there. Pretty soon it's going to be Mongolia and Russia. But no, she decided to push westward. I tried to in, watch the Russian one once. <laughs> into Turkey. You are watching Turkish television? Turkish <laughs> drama. What are it's, you doing? It's 50 episodes. <laughs> And they're like an hour and a half to two hours long. <laughs> it's so stupid. We don't need to talk about this. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Oh my gosh. We do not. We, we have like what to we talk. Like. No, no, not good enough. <laughs> I have to know more about this. First off, okay, one, who, where did you, like, what Someone Reddit just posted forum, about where it. were you I, that the. I think it was on Reddit, actually. And someone just posted about it. I was like, oh, that's interesting. I've never watched a Turkish drama. And there it is. It's on YouTube. Uh, okay. Yeah. So you found them. They don't have a service. They're just straight to YouTube. No, and what's funny is at the end of every episode, they're like, the next one's not going to be subbed if you don't pay 20, like if people don't pay 20 bucks. So they are always trying. Whoever subbed it was is always asking money. for money. And are they getting that money? It's a few years old. It's an older show. Okay. Can you, can you tell me what it's called? No. Sh- I'm not I telling need, you. I want to know what it's called. No, I actually don't even remember it because I only see it in Turkish. Send me a link. Uh-uh, I'm not sending you a 
link. I wanna, how bad Negative. is the video quality? It's actually pretty pretty good. It's better than I thought. Okay. Um, the subs are the only thing. Like whenever it's a she, it always says he. It it, it they reverse that constantly. So I don't know. Nikki, they're very gender fluid in Turkey. Well, it's just weird whenever they're talking about something, they'll be like, she's doing that. But instead, they'll put he's doing that. So you're like, I don't know the translation or stuff. Because sometimes if you watch a lot of subbed items, they tend to be not perfect. You know, Nikki, in Shakespeare's time, all the actors were men. Really? So maybe that's what's happening. Maybe in Turkey, all the actors are men. Well, it's just the the subs are wrong, I think, with it. But um, it looks pretty good. It's okay. Not, it's not bad. What's the plot? Uh, it's weird. It's about like some sort of agency where they're all working, but I don't think anybody really has a job. Like I can't track what, what they're doing. Okay. And they're just trying to get these, um, you know, like advertising jobs. Okay. So it's a group of what attractive young Turkish professionals. Pretty much. Pretty much. But okay. every, it's so funny because I was watching one episode and then the next episode, everybody had new offices, like really nice ones. And I thought, I thought you were just the lowest person in this uh, office. And now you have this great big one. Well, but maybe they have a lot of space there. It's, you know, it's not, not perfect. It's not perfect to, to track along with it. But yeah, I'm watching it. So there wasn't enough on Netflix. YouTube TV. Well, Netflix has been doing really well. They they bought a ton of Korean shows. Yeah. So I usually watch it there, but I was just like, I wonder what a Turkish drama looks like. And now you're in. Not really, unless someone has any recommendations. I haven't seen anything else outside Tur- of this. <laughs> I'll just tell you, <laughs> if you said to me, like, hey... <laughs> All right, what do you what, what do you think? Watching? Like, what do you think Nikki's watching? I'd be like, I don't know. Isn't there a new season of the Grand Tour? You never know what I might be watching. Wow, <laughs> Turkish dramas. Just one. Don't you know make what it. That makes me think. Not of, a lot. Do you know that like that thing where like the the Middle Eastern whatever they had like the generic Mickey Mouse show? That's me. That's what you're watching. I don't know if that's. A, I'm sure it's <laughs> no, not. It looks but to fine. me, that's that's what you're watching. The weird Mickey Mouse guy. No, that no, there no, was no. Just the, Yep. So I I don't even want to know what it actually looks like. I just want to In imagine you at home watching that on your iPad. And this is why I shouldn't tell anybody what I'm watching. Anytime you're going to ask, I'm going to say, I don't know. I'm no. not watching anything. Well, do you want to tell me about the, the new Grand Tour stuff? Um, not yes. Now. We I, need to take a break we can. and come back. <laughs> From and one country I also, to the other. I also need the link to this Turkish drama. I'm not telling I'm it to you. I'm looking for something to watch. No, you're not going to watch it. I'm looking for something just that's make fun, fun of it. and entertaining nope. and I can enjoy it. No. I'm going to have Eric dig through your history and get he's it He's not going to find it. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no, he's not. The Riot. Not, not everyone's a fan. I wonder whose idea this was. Radio U. We're just big shills for Amazon now. That's all we do. I bought an, <laughs> I got an Amazon Fire Cube. So I got that. Now we're going to talk about the Grand Tour only on Amazon Prime. Well, I was surprised we didn't catch this before Christmas time. Uh, but the Grand Tour, which is uh, Amazon's version of um, like Top Gear. Yeah, Top Gear, which used to be a show that Obi and I would love to watch. I mean, we, we always enjoyed that. And then that ended in this version with these three right. guys. Then they went to Amazon and they did three seasons that were almost identical to like the Top Gear style. I, I, I didn't finish it. It was they, they lost me. It was too much of the same jokes, and they tried to make it work, uh, and it was just a little off. It I'll just wasn't be, the same. I'm just going to be straight with you. Like I didn't like it because it felt like hanging out with some dirty old men that liked cars because they made a ton of sex jokes where I was just like, ooh, gross. They, they really tried too hard when it was just better if they just went out and did car stuff. Like yeah. That was the best part of it. Yeah. I never liked the tent stuff. They used to do interviews and just kind of talk, and that was when it really... Oh, yeah. And their bad recurring tent oh, joke. Like they had the same joke. It was the worst. It was bad. And it felt like someone needed to say, hey, stop doing Guys. those and just go do car stuff, which they yeah. then said for the first, the three seasons. Um, then with the fourth season, they said, okay, fine. It's going to go out and actually be what used to be known as the specials right. for Top Gear. So the Grand Tour, I saw that their special came out. It was out on December 13th and we didn't even watch it. No idea. That yeah, happened. I didn't have any idea about it. Uh, so. 
So Did you watch it? I haven't watched all of it yet. Too wrapped up in those Asia minor dramas? Still going through my Turkish drama. Yeah. Uh, but they go through Cambodia and Vietnam in boats. Okay. I would so, love to see that. It's there. Okay. I'll give that like I'll give that a shot. They can pull me back in with that. So I was trying to find online, people were saying, Well, that's season four. And you're like, Well, it's only an hour and a half episode. So I can't tell if that's like that's it. Or will season five be like another special? I don't know. It's or great. if there's I, more specials for season four and they just haven't been released, I don't think so. I'll have to do some digging. Amazon is bothering me because they are starting to show things that I'm interested in. Uh, the fourth season of The Expanse hit, thanks to Christian in Georgia, was asking, hey, have you like have you talked about it? I've watched the first two episodes of the fourth season oh, of The Expanse. Oh, you haven't finished it yet? No, no, no. Oh, I thought I've, you watched it during Christmas. I've been taking it a little bit at a time. I'd say with Lost in Space, I've seen two episodes and like I'm... I, I guess I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> so I know. Uh, Take your time. I'll say on Amazon, it's excellent. Like very, very good. Like they've done really good stuff with it so far. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing some more. Well, about you can that. also watch. So the Top Gear, like the season one, um, then James May is a guy on the Grand Tour and right. he was on Top Gear. He has a new show too, and it's called Our Man in Japan. And is that. On Amazon? That is also okay, another see, I want to watch that. That looks more we, interesting to me. We love Japanese stuff, so a Japanese travel show could be interesting. And there's six episodes of that. That came out on the 3rd. Of January? Mm -hmm. Okay, I feel better about that. Yeah. I was like, if you're saying that was like, what, was, December 3rd no, and we missed that no, too? No, this one is brand new. Well, I won't miss any Amazon crap anymore, Nikki, because with that fire cube, let me tell you what. Is that it? Their stuff is front and center. I was kind of surprised. Normally, we're the ones that they, they advertise these type of shows to, and I didn't get any of that information. Maybe, I didn't know anything. Maybe they're tired of our negative energy. Are they? They're tired of us not liking the, the last season? Must be what it was. They didn't want to hear us bad-mouthing them well, anymore. If you like that sort of stuff, that's that's in the watch list. The Riot, Riot Podcast. Radio View. I chicken McNuggets are important, guys. <laughs> there. Sure. I expected there. you to I say something it. else. <laughs> I said it, okay? I got it out. A lot of people, somebody yesterday was hitting me up. They're like, what about chicken nuggets? And I'm like, stop right there. Before you say anything that'll hurt people? I don't want a chicken nugget. You can keep your nugget. Nobody needs a nugget. I need a McNugget. And you know what? Wendy's can try to be cool with their spicy nugs, and they can use the word nugs all they like. I don't need a nug. I need a Mick nugget. Did you have it for lunch yesterday? That's Mick nugget to you, son. Weren't you going to go? Yes, I did. You did? I absolutely did. I, I didn't eat breakfast yesterday because I'm an idiot. And then I went and did some speaking thing. And a lot of times my reward, if I DJ a party or a wedding, or if I go speak somewhere or whatever, like if I go out and do something, my reward is a 10-piece McNugget. And they say that rewarding yourself with food is one of the yeah, best things you can do. That's all right. There's worse things you can do. So that's what I did. I went and got my chicken McNuggets and my French fries, and I was dipping Ooh, you, in the sweet and sour. You got a combo. You got everything. Oh, it's so good. And, you know, I I bring this up because I want you to know that we're going to talk about a girl named McGuire. And I feel like McGuire and I understand each other. In a world where a lot of people don't, I understand this girl. Okay. She's 19. Uh, she was celebrating New Year's like mm -hmm. we all do. She wanted some McNuggets. Okay. And some sauce. So she was going to go to McDonald's? Uh, the thing is, I'm not sure that she uh, actually ordered McNuggets. I think she may have just gone in there wanting sauce. Okay. Something else I should tell you about her. When she went in to get the sauce, she was sauced. Oh, she was. It's 3.45 a.m. like meth out of sauce? <laughs> People taking sauce for bad things. Maybe. Maybe. What do you do? Are you? They just drinking it. She went into. The Is it? Can you mix it with alcohol? I'm sure. <laughs> Nikki, just to be clear, everything's been mixed yeah, with alcohol at some much. point. Yeah. Um, okay. So she went uh, and ordered a large amount of food through mm -hmm. the drive-through window. Okay. Uh, then she ended up wanting uh, one of each sauce that they offer. Now, I can tell you as a McNugget eater, I know that if you get a 10-piece McNugget, they will only give you two sauces. That's all you get. And after that, you have to pay a quarter for each additional sauce because times are tough at McDonald's. Well, I mean, they're pretty, people pretty much know that, though. <laughs> you can't be going and doing the, the sweep of all the sauces. So she got in a screaming match with the person at the window, and this is when she said what might be, I just want you to know, maybe 
the best thing I've ever heard. She's screaming with the window, and she said she was going to get all of those chicken McNugget sauces. Yeah. And here comes the quote. By whatever <laughs> means necessary. Well, yeah, you pay for them. That's there what I was going to say. I was like, you know, you're lying. <laughs> because if you're saying by whatever means necessary, you give them two $1 bills, and you're getting all eight sauces. And you're Boom. done. <laughs> those were the necessary means. So you are lying. You mean by whatever free means necessary. You don't want to pay for it. Yeah. Um, so apparently, uh, when the police arrived, which they had to, uh, she would be, she would she would cooperate and then she would go crazy. Mm. And so they ended up having to put her in handcuffs and put her in the back of the the paddy wagon. See, I've been the in police on, cruiser. I've been enjoying on YouTube just live PD clips. Yeah. So I I hope to see this soon. Well, I hope it makes it on there. I want you to know that I. I understand what it's like to expect a free sauce and be told that you have to pay for it. Well, I'll never forget my first day at Cane's when they were like, hey, it's 25 cents for more sauce. And I was like, this is an outrage. <laughs> he was bad. I was. Because that person didn't tell you in the nicest way. And don't you only get like one or something? You get one and then you got to start paying for or it. Or even though you have to like, do you have to pay for all the honey mustard or? No, no, no. You, you, you get, get one, a, sauce, a sauce. But they assume you want cane sauce, which is trash. So you have to tell them you don't want that. And then, see, it's fine. Let's just. You're done. All I'm saying is, is that uh, I want McGuire, Maggie. I know I feel what you feel. Mm -hmm. I know how you feel. Here's what you do. When you go through, you get two sauces. And sometimes sometimes you don't even ask for any or you just get one. Go ahead and ask for two sauces every time and you just store the rest. and You just collect them. And if you need them in the future. (laughs) Like I'm not using all of the sauce they provide. Oh, I mean. (laughs) I'm I'm licking the inside of the container. (laughs) Never mind then. (laughs) I mean, I can remember reaching an age where I realized I had to stop licking the tops because I looked ridiculous. You can't just drink the sauce. The Riot. Just because it's bad doesn't mean it's not good. Wait, isn't that exactly what it means? It's The Riot on Radio U. Uh, I'm sorry that I keep mentioning that Nikki and I have been at the gym, but that's one of the things we do together. So, like, I'm not <laughs> trying not just to, the show. I'm not, like, humble bragging. I'm just telling you. We, we, we go to the gym before we yeah. do the show. So, this morning when we were there, I was on the elliptical. I barely made it. And to me, sometimes when I get on the elliptical, I'm just like... That's me barely hanging well, on. You mean you I, were you were a little late getting there? Yeah, and it's me like I couldn't possibly pick up a weight today. At least this way, I just flail my arms and legs, and something's working. <laughs> like that's 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 how I think of it. I'm like, it, it, at least there's this. You did something. I did something. Whatever. And so now, keeping in mind that some of this may be my own particular proclivities and problems, as I was standing there today, but and I just felt like every TV in that place had one strong message that it was trying to send me, and that message was, "You're not good enough." And I mean, it was like thing after thing of like. Pretty flabby. You should try this cream to take care of your flab. Makeup. We're going to spray makeup on you. Um, your losing, kitchen's not good enough. You don't even have an hair. air fryer. Yeah, like, I mean, it was just like, <laughs> it was thing after thing where it was just like, here's your weaknesses. Here's where you're not good enough. Buy our product, you flabby piece of garbage. And then I start looking around and I'm just like, I'm never going to look that good. I'm never going to look that good. And even thinking like, I mean, I guess I could. I could put all the effort in, but I don't even want I don't even want to. Like, that guy right there, like, he planned out a month ago what he was eating today and probably prepped it and put it in the fridge. Like, I'm not doing that. Just forget it. So, okay, maybe a little down on myself. Maybe those messages were actually present and I was just sensitive to them. But I'll say this. It's one of the things that I appreciate about God. Is a lot of times I'll go to God and just be like, you know what, God, I'll never be good enough. And God's just like, hey, man, I love you as you are. I mean, does God leave us as we are? No. He encourages us. He shows us a different way to live, a better way to do things. But do you know, just as you are right now, even if you don't have an air fryer or you don't have that special cream to prevent saggy arms, I don't even have saggy arms, but they really tried to convince me that I did. Well, you were watching it at that infomercial. Yeah, I was, I was there <laughs> stuck staring at these 10 TVs. But like, whatever it is that is your weakness, that when you walk past a display thing or you see an ad on the internet or like whatever it is that something inside you just goes, Ugh. 
And sometimes it doesn't even hit that hard. Sometimes it's just a message that you like passes over your brain and just goes past and you don't give it a lot more thought. But just those things that poke at you throughout the day. I want you to know that you are very much loved just as the person that you are right now. I I can accept that you're not perfect. I can accept that there are probably things that you would love to change about yourself. And yet you are still loved very much. Jesus loves you. Jesus actively wants to spend time with you and to put his spirit in your heart so that you don't have to be alone and you can be loved no matter what. If you don't have a relationship with God, bummer, you need to stop missing out. Just say, Jesus, I want that. I want you in my life. I want you to fill me with your spirit. I just don't feel good enough, God. Would you show me something else? I want to accept your love today. Be with me. And you know, whatever's on your mind and heart today, just talk to God about it. Do you feel not good enough? Or do you feel maybe like you're a little too good? You know what? You talk to God about that too. Like whatever it is, where you're at right now, you can talk to God about that. And then you stop watching the TVs when you're working out. I got to get off the elliptical, man. Watch something else. The worst of the riot is over, but the fun can keep going. Hey, I saw you checking out my goods. Check the riot blog or stalk us on social media. You want to sample them? A little try before you buy, huh? Through riot.radiou.com. It's not a coffee urinal kit, so I don't know why you're so uncomfortable.